need, bub? For what? To talk about old man Logan and how he's going from the funny books to Tinseltown. How old are you? Alright, so I'm a pretty decent fan of the Fox X-Men movies, and I saw a trailer for Logan. Looks pretty cool. But uh, I'm confused, like, when in the timeline, when in the arc does this actually take place? Why is Logan old? Yeah, why is he a white man? It's a good question. It's a good question. <laughs> uh, one that I may not be able to answer because I haven't seen the movie yet, but... Everybody knows by now, because of episode 5 that we did, Wolverine is dead in the comic books, right? Yes. So they need to find a replacement for Wolverine. Why, did, years they, back, why did they kill Wolverine? Oh, because cells. Death of Superman. Batman getting his back broken. Death not of having the rights to the Marvel or to the X-Men characters for the Marvel film universe. Hey, shut up. That's, that's not that's true. That's what they I didn't wondered. do that with Fantastic Four. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> anyway. Old Man Logan, a few years back, was a standalone story that was... Wolverine 66 to 72 with the giant size issue. It was written by Mark Miller, who did Civil War, and Steve McNiven, who also drew Civil War. Dexter Bynes at the Inks. So, pretty much, it's in a future where Wolverine has been living at peace for 50 years because there's this huge giant war where there's no more superheroes and supervillains have taken over, including the Red Skull, who is now President of the United States. Also wearing this... a Captain America, very Silence of the Lamb kind of deal with him wearing Captain America outfit. That sounds kind so, of familiar. So anyway, Wolverine is living on a farm with his wife and two kids, and the farm and this land and all this is owned by the Hulk, the Hulklings, uh, grandkids of the Hulk. Okay. Hulk went a little fucking crazy because of radiation poisoning and started fucking She-Hulk on the side. And what happens when two cousins fuck? We know we live in Kentucky. <laughs> you have we some get some backwood motherfuckers. So, yeah. so all these grandkids are, have the Hulk's powers and they're all... And like six fingers. So, so Hulklings aside, the opening to Old Man Logan is kind of like the opening to the Clint Eastwood movie Unforgiven. <laughs> Except the wife is still alive. and But yes. he's just, you know, kind of... He used to be somebody. You still realize I ain't like that no more. So he's late on rent, and he needs some money. And Hawkeye, old guy Hawkeye, comes in, <laughs> and he's like, "Hey, man, I got a special delivery to make cross country. Jump with me in the spider buggy, and I'll give you some money." He doesn't know what the special delivery is, but he's like, "Sure, I need money. Let's go." So they go on this journey across the country, and it's pretty cool because you know Again, you get to following see the plot of Unforgiven. Okay. Oh, forgive it, didn't have the fucking spider buggy. <laughs> old white, but it didn't have old white dudes. But, you know, you get to see, like, uh, Hawkeye's kid become the kingpin of crime. You get to see Ant-Man's body. And through a series of flashbacks, you get to find out why Logan is no longer Wolverine. He doesn't, he's not called Wolverine. He won't pop his claws out. He doesn't fight. So what happened was, That's during the time looking? when the very acts of vengeance, the villains got together, they were all sitting across drinking beer, and they're like, hey, let's go fuck each other's uh, superheroes up. Very acts of vengeance. So 40 supervillains went into the x Mansion and started killing people. One by one, Wolverine was like, fuck this, they're killing everybody. One by one, he killed all these villains. He kills Jubilee, thinking that it's a supervillain. How Turns out that it was Mysterio that was fucking with his sight and apparently since it's not a perfect story far from pre perfect <laughs> but he killed him so with that he takes off north to canada and he stops at what i assume is the nearest railroad track <laughs> and lays his head on it and the train because he's kind of a dick he's got an adamantium skull so i don't know if this train just went off and everybody on the train died or if the train just kept running over him apparently he tried to commit suicide and that's how he put the beast to rest the delivery was a super insurance formula that S.H.I.E.L.D. wanted. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And Hawkeye's like, cool, I don't need payment, but I just want to be one of the good guys because I want to kill a bunch of villains. And let's make some new superheroes. But these Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. were working for the Red Skull, so Hawkeye gets killed. And still, Logan refuses to pop his claws out. And this is really depressing. It is. It is, it is a <laughs> depressing storyline. And like the dragon God damn, they, they played Johnny Cash. Yeah, they played Johnny Cash in the trailer. Are you expecting a happy movie from Logan? <laughs> and, and Gene Hackman shows up. <laughs> oh so anyway, God. stop. 
But that doesn't stop him from taking Captain America's shield, Logan, and cutting off the Red Skull's head. He puts on an Iron Man armor, and he takes off back to his family with the money that he got from selling the Super Son because all these guys end up killing themselves. So he's taking it back, but it's too late. They were already dead. The Hulklings got bored, and they killed his wife and kids, right? So this they is when we bored? get. Okay. This is when we get Wolverine back. The last shot of the this before the giant size is him popping his claws out, and you're like, oh shit! And sure enough, one by one, he kills all the Hulks up until he gets to an old man who is Bruce Banner, not turning to the Hulk, and they start talking it out. He's just beating the shit out of each other, and eventually, Bruce Banner turns into a giant Hulk and he explains to him why he fucked his cousin. Whatever. Uh, she thought they get into this huge battle, very much like you know. Hulk 181, which is the first appearance of Wolverine. Hulk ends up eating him, eating Wolverine, he because he's through? huge. But you just can't eat the old Knuckle head. This motherfucker just <laughs> springs open from <laughs> Hulk's body, killing Hulk. All the Hulklings are dead, and he takes Hulk's grandkid, just like Lone Wolf and Cub, and takes off into the sunset to go and create a new world of superheroes. So during the Secret War storyline that uh, happened last uh, year, 2015, there were battle worlds where Doctor Doom was controlling the, or mm -hmm. yep, he put yep. walls around these worlds that are all pocket universes, like the Age of Apocalypse universe or the Supreme Powers universe, Earth One Fifty One, yeah, yeah, Ultimate yeah. Universe, right? Old Man Logan's universe was one. So there comes an Ultron head into as he's like <laughs> on his horse, and he's like, "What's this? Huh, I'm gonna go investigate." So he climbs a wall because <laughs> he sees oh. this wall. And he goes on. On top of the wall was a Thor guard, a uh, female Thor, once again, it's part of the yeah. Secret Wars. She knocks him into the Age of Apocalypse world and then eventually knocks him into the Technonopolis world. <laughs> and eventually okay, he sorry. makes it. We're getting too deep into Secret Wars and I just don't care. <laughs> well, no, I mean, that's all you need to know. All, all school this Secret Wars was cool. But this is, yeah, yeah. This but is how he gets into our world, though. He gets. Right. Literally, this is the explanation. She knocks him into our world. <laughs> that is right? a horrible explanation. That no, is there are horrible. worse storylines that I could go on about. This she one was is... basically like, bitch, move out of the way. Move, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out the way. He kept finding her. It was written by Brian Michael Bendis. Whatever. Anyway, it was bad. And then the new ongoing storyline, uh, you kind of see him go, okay, I'm going to put a stop to all this before it happens. Because he's on our time. He's like, I'm going to go kill, you know, Bruce Banner. I'm going to kill Mysterio. I'm going to kill Red Skull. I'm going to kill all these people. And then realizes with the help of Captain America that hey, that's your future. This is our this is not your past. That future can never happen because of this past. Which leads me to the next conversation. About by, by the way, the ongoing series is pretty good because he's also in the uh, extraordinary X Men comic book. He's part of that team. So there's a chemistry is he between old in that he, team. Yeah, they're all he's old. This is old man Logan. Uh, so he's replaced Wolverine he's played, within this verse. Yeah. Gotcha. So he's hanging out with young Jean Grey, which I'm not gonna get to talk about that right now because I don't have another hey, hour. Baby. Um <laughs> and there's this weird chemistry between them because I thought at, at first it was kinda creepy because he's an old man and she's a teenager, but it kind of works because Wolverine has always been the character that takes people under his well, wings. Well, and, he, and he's always been an old man. But in, in the movies now, we've got two different X-Men timelines, right? So we don't know from the trailer that we've seen if this is a, let's call it timeline one, is the original Patrick Stewart, Ian McKellen timeline. Right. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. timeline two is the James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender timeline, right? <laughs> the timeline where nobody ages or everybody ages really slow. Yeah, well, well the timeline that, that all of the X-Men stuff's going on in the 60s and 70s, yes. right? Now, if you follow that timeline and you say... Okay, put that in modern day or maybe ten years uh, from now. I see where you're going then with this. you know the James McAvoy Patrick Stewart, or P James McAvoy Professor X, <laughs> can be the old Patrick Stewart Professor X who's showing up in these trailers, right, 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 and saying, you know, the mutants are all gone. We trace that back to something that happened in Age of Apocalypse or or something, and we link that universe or. Is it we, you know, or is it a continuation of the original X Men universe? We just don't know. Laura Kenny's gonna be in it. Laura Kenny is X twenty three, who is also a the new Wolverine. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. She she is actually called the Wolverine. The Wolverine. Mm -hmm. Whereas Logan is still Old Man Logan, which is a really horrible code name. <laughs> <laughs> Unless your name is James Howlett, then it's a wonderful code name. Nobody knows who you really are. So, Laura Kenny, 
in the comic books as a clone of Wolverine. Mm -hmm. Taking his DNA, putting on a woman, blah, blah, blah. They had a baby. Boom. X-23. X-23. Right? In, at the end of X-Men um, Apocalypse, Apocalypse, their end credits show Nathaniel Essex pick up what looks to be Weapon X DNA. Yeah. Keep in mind, Nathaniel Essex is Mr. Sinister. It wouldn't surprise me if they're doing this to cap off the, let's call it X-Men 1 universe. Right, this is the end goodbye, of those Patrick stories. Swayze, goodbye, Patrick Swayze. Goodbye. Yeah, Patrick, 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 Patrick Stewart. Goodbye, Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Ghost! That's so horrible, man. <laughs> well, all these actors are obviously aging, and they need to revamp the universe in one way or another, and this is a perfect outlet to try to revamp that with new actors and kind of reset another timeline. Well, but this, this can put a... Even before you get to that, though, this can put a cap to Wolverine. As played by Hugh Jackman. I can, Hugh Jack. I, I can, I can that, see that. That's what I was thinking. That's where they're going to go with this. Goodbye, Professor X. Goodbye, Wolverine. Or, I'm sorry, Patrick Stewart, Professor X, and anything that was tied to the original Brian Singer universe. Right. And start over with a less timeline confusing storyline. Because yeah, those X Men movies make no well, sense when it comes a to the full timelines. reboot. Donald Pierce, who, as we all know, is one of the Reavers. Um, yeah. So these are mechanical creatures that were in the comic books, were killed by Wolverine, or almost killed by Wolverine, and he hacked off their arms, limbs, dicks, balls, whatever, and Lady <laughs> Deathstrike came in and saved them and turned them into cyborgs, or androids. So maybe that kind of has something to do yeah, with the movie, could right? Be. He's getting his revenge for Wolverine hacking his dick off, or whatever. <laughs> Pro so... Yeah, so it, so there is no clear indication whether or not Old Man Logan is connected to this new movie coming out, Logan, no, 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 no. or or what Logan. I just wanted to talk about place Old Man is going to be in, in in the universe. So, a lot of questions that we will have answered when the movie comes out, which is when March fourth. March the barrage coming up. I'll be playing the switch. So that kind of gives you an idea of where Old Man Logan comes from in the comic books and why he's hanging out around in the 616 universe now, and sort of what we expect to see from the Logan movie. Whether he's related to the character from the comic books, we've yet to see. So, what do you guys want to see? Comment down below, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to check out our Facebook page. know he loves dealing with Summer's DNA and in the movies I'm sure he can deal with like Wolverine DNA. Spunk. <laughs> Wolverine. Wolf, Wolf, there you go. No, Mr. Sinister is all about the smooth. Okay. You, you know how pregnancy works? You don't just make a woman drink it. <laughs> I don't understand. Though. Oh wait, that's how it starts. Anyway. <laughs>